Let's focus on the telecom news about uh, the SUC charges. Jaydeep Ghosh, partner at KPMG, is now joining us on a phone line. Jaydeep, what do you make of uh, the SUC telecom, uh, you know, uh, SUC charges recommendation coming in? Yeah, I think it, it simplifies the you know entire uh, spectrum uh, regime in terms of uh, what uh, the rates were, mul you know, multiple rates, so on and so forth. And in that, to that extent, I think it simplifies and also it's uh, you know financially beneficial for the telecom uh, operator community. Right. You know, uh, people are saying that the SUC charges which have been reduced or mean flat for the new ones will automatically be compensated by higher biddings. Uh, do you see that uh, you know the prices of spectrum or bidding of spectrum may get slightly higher because of lower SUC charges? You see, the, uh, the proposed uh, base price of the upcoming auctions, uh, you know, perhaps which will happen in you know within three months' time frame, uh, is fairly you know steep. And I don't want to get into the you know debate on this particular you know call of you know whether it is the right price or not, but. Uh, I would think there will be limited impact of, uh, you know, a relative uh, reduction in SUC on the auction so far as if one is expecting a flat 3% SUC will lead to significant higher bidding. I don't think so that there is a very direct correlation between those two. Right. Uh, as far as, uh, you know, SUC charges or the weighted average SUC charges for the current prices has been changed, 23rd megahertz has been included. Uh, that's that's a good change, or that's a change which is positive. Yes, I think you know, including uh, all the spectrum bands in the calculation of uh, SUC is definitely a welcome move. Uh, to that extent, it simplifies, as I said at the beginning, you know, across different, uh, you know, whether it's 800 megahertz, 1800 megahertz, 2100 megahertz, or 2300 megahertz. It definitely simplifies, and, and and going forward, some point of time, we should see a reduction. In spectrum, uh, you know, user charges from three percent to probably you know two percent or one percent is, I think, the long-term roadmap. Right. Uh, uh, you know, overall, uh, what would you eye out for now that SUC has happened uh, for uh, uh, auctions going ahead? What will be the next step? No, I think it gives some clarity in terms of what is going to be the SUC regime. You know, it, 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 it started you know many years back across you know, different bands. You know, three percent. You know, and then going up to eight percent, then a flat of five percent. Now at least, you know, going forward, it would be three percent. And of course, the DWA or the broadband wireless access at 2300 megahertz continues to be at uh, you know one percent for the auction held in 2010. So it would give far more clarity, and that should help in you know the bidding, uh, you know, business plans and so on and so forth. But as I said, I don't see much impact of the. Spectrum user charges, uh, you know, decision once it goes through uh, on the intensity and, you know, pricing of the auction. The auction prices, if at the base price, if I remember correctly, I think four and a half lakh thousand crores, you know, uh, whereas the spectrum uh, charges for the entire community is in the range of 7,000 crores. So I think the, the, the magnitude is so different, the impact reduction of, of uh, or reduction would also not happen. Some kind of, you know, a, Uniform SUC impact on the auction would, would not be that much. I would think so. Right. Uh, Jaydeep, thank you so much uh, for your initial take uh, on this. We hope to see you again.